Hi guys, it's Bouncing Fig here. I am in Petaling Jaya and I just dropped by in Taman Mega. This is again one of my favorite little community areas because I have been coming to this awesome cafe for as long as you can think of, probably like 30 years ago, was it 20 years ago? Because they serve such lovely localized pies, if you could think of that, and also cakes. They are well known for their amazing cakes still old school very Malaysian I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by that and they have really delicious local favorites um, you know for lunch or you know for tea time and you know you will know about La Manila if you live around this area or you know in PJ or Kuala Lumpur um, because you know they really introduced us to all these um, you know Western kind of favorites but really Malaysianized them so let's have a look um, if you love what you see please hit the subscribe button I can't wait to get to know you Bye. La Manila yeah. and um, I was just telling Ali that you know I used to live down the road and every birthday every occasion every excuse uh, to have cake it would be La Manila why not they, they had like the best cakes ever and they are still here and we are still here <laughs> So I'm going to check out this luscious pie and you know it's uniquely Malaysian because this is how we remember um, it and how we were introduced to pies okay so it's not the British kind that you're used to um, but we love it and that's why we always come back mm. oh rich you can taste the chicken flavor in the thick brown gravy and and you know the color is really natural and the pastry is just nice and soft the way we like it not hard and uh, with with the um, with the beauty and lusciousness of the the gravy it's just such a wonderful combination plus it's delicious it's so thick and there's huge chunks of, of um mushrooms and they're not canned mushrooms, okay, ladies and gentlemen. These are fresh mushrooms. You know the taste and you know the difference. And it's so yum. My favorite um, Assam laksa is actually the Nyonya version, and usually that's a little bit more sour. Yeah, and then the, the tamarind is actually much lighter in a Nyonya laksa. So I actually love the one in La Manila because it's really tangy with crisp. Um, vegetables like mint, you've got onion and cucumber and of course the must-have pineapples and they are really not at all stingy because you know what? Check out, check out this mackerel. I mean, it's a whole thing in here. It's a whole thing. Mmm. Oh, spicy, just the way I like it. Okay, so Juita ordered the Penang Cha Kuei Chow. Now, okay, before you start talking about, you know, authenticity and whoever's recipe, you need the wok. Every humble Malaysian style kopitiam or cafe, especially cafes, they have all these local favorites. And usually it's, you know, mum's recipe or uncle's recipe. And they do it with a lot of love. So we appreciate it in whatever form it comes. And they have cha kuei tiao, which you can see is as authentic looking as you can see. You can see the wok hay, the charred bits from the wok. The, the bean sprouts are nice and crispy. And you've got the prawns, check. You've got the egg bits, check. And you've got the lovely bouncy noodles, check. So they, they use um, vegetables, green vegetables, which is absolutely fine. Mm, well done. Lovely. 